Ready for some cool ideas for defending your Fallout 4 settlement? In this series, we're looking at tactics, structures, electrical systems, and more to help you keep you and your settlers safe for when the enemy comes knocking at your door. What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Fallout 4 and today I want to do some more settlement defense. If you guys have seen my Fallout 4 settlement building videos, you guys know I love to do a kind of scrappy wasteland style builds and I like to really focus on defense. So I want to share some cool ideas with you as far as defense goes. Ideas that maybe may give some inspiration to some other builds, maybe stuff some people haven't thought of. And today I want to focus on one thing in particular and it's this balcony up here that I have a sanctuary. Now there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about here. Uh, my my funny little stacked houses, my functioning weird security doors here. Um, you'll see some of the stuff. I'm going to go through all of it later in this series as well as I'm also going to hit many other settlements. So don't worry, there's more to come. Today I just want to focus on this cool little balcony up here. So let's have a look at that and get away from the damn mooing Brahmin. <laughs> Alright, at least he hasn't glitched inside the house yet. I'm, I'm very thankful for that. So let's go in here. Now, this is a great place to defend a settlement from. I like to keep things authentic and wasteland feeling, so I like to, you know, I like to fortify the buildings that are already here. It feels more uh, realistic to me. So here we are, my little building. Let's talk about this balcony up here. Let's close that. And what it's for. Serves kind of three functions, really. Okay, so what we have up here. Okay, we got two switches. I will talk about these switches. We got a doorway, we got a balcony. We got one turret, we're gonna have another. Now, what's this all for? Okay, first of all, I run the mod. I'm running immersive gameplay. Now, this is an old save. I'm not playing this save anymore, so the future videos in this series will be from a new save because I, I decided to go ahead and use immersive gameplay. Why mention that? Because in this game save, I am using the mod Stronger Raids, which is just the bigger raids portion of immersive gameplay. I went ahead and decided to use the whole mod. What is Stronger Raids? It, uh, it makes it so that when raiders or gunners or super mutants or whoever, when they raid your settlement, they raid your settlement to win. They come big, they come armed, and they come in numbers of 30, 40, or even 50 guys. I love I love defending against it. I love trying to think of intelligent ways to defend against it. And one thing, I want, one problem I had that I wanted to solve, which is why I came up with this balcony, is the fact that turrets just don't last the fight. Um, 50 raiders swarm in here. And two things happen. A, my frame rate drops to about 10 FPS. And also, my turrets are going to die in the first 20 to 30 seconds. And then, um, I've had these battles last as long as 10 or 20 minutes. I'm left with no turrets. I can't get out there to repair them because I have guys swarming everywhere. So I wanted a way to get to the turrets and repair them safely. There's going to be another one here. I just haven't... Uh, I don't think I have the, the materials to build it just yet. I like to scavenge my own materials. Uh, it feels kind of cheap to me to just console everything in, so I do prefer to farm stuff, although it makes me a little slower to build. I get a more authentic feel and look out of my, my things. All right, so here's what we have. This first switch basically... And I'll go over all the wiring. I'll have wiring tutorials included in this series on how to wire some cool defenses. This just turns the turret on or off. Now, why would you ever, want, you know, why would you want to turn the turret off? Because I like to get raided. I like to encourage raids, and so I want zero defense. And so I will leave this turret off until I get raided, and then I will turn it back on. Now, enter the green switch. What this does is this closes the doors down, so that. This is the whole idea of this balcony, guys. I'm sorry it took me so long to get here. The idea of this balcony is that it has a great vantage point for two turrets to shoot an almost 180 degree arc. And if they get blown up or destroyed, I can close this switch, come out here, and I, I can take my time repairing them. I might want to crouch so I don't get shot over the top of that. But I can repair them, get back in here. If I would quit getting hung up on that piece of <laughs> roof right there. And then I can let my turrets resume their assault on the raiders or gunners or whatever they are below. Now, I said this roof served three purposes. There, there's a balcony. There, there, there are a couple other things. You guys know, if you've seen my previous Fallout 4 built videos, I like to use the wire fencing. The reason being, you can shoot through it. You can shoot straight through it as if it weren't there, but you cannot throw projectiles through it. And what that means is they can't throw projectiles through it to you. Um, when you're getting raided, if you're running a harder mod like immersive gameplay or something, you may get swamped with 30 gunners and they may have fat man launchers and all kinds of things and you'll be obliterated. <laughs> you'll be obliterated. So this is very important. Even with these doors closed, I can choose to run these closed if I want. If my turrets are busted and I just can't fix them, I can stay up here. Okay, that wall's a little high. That barrier's a little high. I made it that way though, so I do have 
little space to fix this without, you know, having line of sight on anyone. I can shoot over this if I want, but I have many other shooting points all around the inside of this house and even one downstairs. So, it gives you, when the doors are down, it gives you a decent place to shoot from. You don't want too many vantage points because you want to try to keep it limited. If you have more than one line of sight to the ground from where you're at, then they're going to be shooting you through the other one. You, you want to try to have it uh, kind of limited. And with these doors down, you have control over it. You can shoot here and not be shot through the other ones. See what I'm saying? Or Now, what is the other purpose for this? The other purpose is sometimes you get attacked by melee attackers, like uh, rad scorpions or death claws or ghouls. You know, Sometimes you get swarmed by God knows what. And in, in a case like that, a precise firing point like here. Here I have a firing point. I have these bars. They perform the same kind of function as, as the, uh, the fencing in that you can shoot through it but you can't throw projectiles through it. So you can safely sit here and not worry about catching a rocket to the face. And I have a little door that closes in case, because this is my main crafting area. This glass, by the way, I'll go over this kind of stuff in a future video. That glass is all bulletproof. The enemies cannot see through it nor shoot through it. It's just like a wall to them. This is kind of my main crafting area. I want to be able to open and close this. Now, this does lead to the balcony. Let me get to that right now. Same getting attacked by ghouls. I have a great place right here to pick them off from. But they can't shoot back their melee. So there's no need to pin yourself down in a place like that. So in all my settlements, what I like to have is, I, I call it a ghoul balcony. And that's what this is. This also serves as a ghoul balcony. If I get swarmed by ghouls, um, <clears throat> well, why do I keep saying ghouls? Well, A, it can happen. You can get raided by ghouls. And B, uh, I run a mod, uh, my weather mod, in fact, True Storms, which allows ghoul, there's a chance that ghouls may attack during rad storms. So every time I start hearing the rad storm sound, I know there's a chance I could get attacked by a horde of ghouls. I like to have a ghoul balcony, as I call it, because they can't shoot, they can't reach you. You don't need a, a, a super pinned down firing point. You can, it's so it's great to have something like this. You can come out here and you can pick them off. All right, guys, that's what I wanted to show you in this video here. This is a cool idea. Um, I can show a more detailed video on how to build something like this. I can give you multiple ideas on how to build something like this. I just wanted to make a short video showing the idea of turrets which can be covered and uncovered so that if you need to, you can perform repairs on them mid-fight. There's a lot more cool and creative stuff to come as I'm building more stuff and there's new settlements and many new things to show you guys. I hope you guys like it. I hope it uh, some of this stuff may give you some ideas and definitely be sure to share your ideas with me, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. There's much more to come. There's so much more to come. I do this all day. I love defending my settlements against raids. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Guys, it's been a real pleasure. My name is Dark Dally. I will catch you all next time.